Drip irrigation provides efficient use of water and reduces disease pressures, soil erosion, and leaching of fertilizer. Drip irrigation is a slow application of water directly to each plant. Prepare the raised beds. Install water pump or water tank if dripped by gravity with a head structure of 1 to 2 meters high. Consider 1,000 liter water tank for 200 to 300 square meters if dripped by gravity. Place a valve at the water tank. Install filter. Clean the water filters at least once a week. Place a pressure gauge on the main line. Connect the main line. Lay the drip line. Fix the drip lines with bamboo staples or other. Install flush valves or close the drip line by folding the end and fixing it with bamboo staples or others. You will need to flush the drip lines at least once a month to maintain the drip irrigation system. Install the mulch after placing the drip lines. The two drip line system is good for sandy soil. Sandy soil has poor water holding capacity, so you will need to irrigate for shorter periods but more frequently. In heavy soil like clay soil, the water holding capacity is good. Irrigation is less frequent but longer irrigation time. Connect the drip lines to the main line. When the irrigation system is not in use, remember to store properly all the different elements in a shady and dry place. When the drip irrigation system is broken, Collect and recycle the materials. Do not burn, bury, or throw them anywhere. Regularly check the pressure at the end of the drip line. Maintain between 8 and 15 PSI. Check the dripper flow once a week. Transplant the seedlings close to the drips from the drip line. You can choose or design the drip line with a specific spacing of drip depending on your crops. To find out the best spacing for specific crops, visit the link in the description below this video. If unfamiliar with drip irrigation, ask for advice.